Hey guys and welcome to today's YouTube video which is an Amazon haul. Um, I love doing Amazon hauls. You can get such a variety of stuff um, on their website um, so I hope that you enjoy this video. I'm literally so hot right now. I've got, I think it's a spring light. Do ring lights produce heat? <laughs> Uh, I'm literally so hot and I've only got this like thin shirt on so anyway um, I want to try and get through this video quickly before I start getting even hotter um, but yeah I've got a real mix of things today from Amazon there's no real theme at all a few things that I needed um, a few things that I've seen and wanted to try out for a little while so yeah, I just wanted to share them with you guys, of course. Um, I will try and link everything for you guys down below, but if you know Amazon, you know that the prices vary depending on the day or the time. Um, so yeah, just bear that in mind as well, that they may differ to what I paid. I will try and let you guys know what I paid for everything, kind of from the top of my head um, as well. I do have some other Amazon hauls here on this channel um, if you are interested so make sure to check those out as well if you haven't already and also I'd love for you to stick around so do subscribe to my channel as well. I, um, I usually upload every Wednesday and Sunday for reference if you're new around here um, but yeah otherwise let's get on with showing you everything that I got from Amazon. These bits of hair, <laughs> I mean come on they're really annoying me today so I'm going to be this one won't stay I'm going to be playing with them throughout the video so I firstly apologise for that but the first item let's what should we start with it's so random I literally don't know I tell you what I'm going to start with this that I picked up because I am currently wearing it so it is one of the fitness tracker how can I show this watches um, it kind of looks like the Apple watch I guess but it's not an Apple Watch. Um, but this is the box that it came in. And this is the Oswe, A-S-W-E-E, -E, Fitness Tracker, um, Health and Fitness Smartwatch. So this was £22 I paid for it. And I just got like the plain black strap and the black face one. Um, they did do it in a few colours though. But this, the black one was actually the cheapest one I think. So... I'm not going to lie, like, I'm not a big fitness person or anything like that at all, so I was never going to pay out for an actual Apple Watch. I really got this to kind of just count my steps a day and um, like calories and stuff like that. So my aim <laughs> between now and my wedding, which is in April, is to get 10,000 steps in a day. Um, so I wanted this to like really help me with that. Normally if I go on a walk or something I'll have my phone on me so it tracks my steps through that but I wanted to get a bit of a more accurate reading for just steps that you do in day to day life as well. So that was the main reason I got this. It does, you can you connect it to your phone um, through their app so your messages and stuff can come up on the screen which I believe the Apple Watch does as well. And like I say, it registers your steps, um, your calories that you burn, um, heart rate and things like that. So I've been, I've only had it a few days. Um, I've worn it every day and I'm quite happy with it so far. It does also, if you wear it in bed, it can monitor your sleep and things like that, I'm pretty sure. I haven't read up on it um, 100%, but yeah, so far so good. Um, so yeah, I'm quite liking that if you are looking for something like that um that's a lot cheaper than the apple watch then yeah so far i would recommend this one and like i say i will link it for you so hopefully you can find this exact one this is probably the most random kind of boring i guess thing i picked up is the nespresso descaling kit i'm not entirely sure how this works because this is the first one i've ever bought but obviously i have an espresso machine um and we have really hard water where I live and I've had my Nespresso, so, blah, 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 my Nespresso machine for about, a, a, well, just over a year. I got it last Christmas. Um, and yeah, I'm noticing that when the water comes out, it's a lot slower. Um, so I basically think there is like a clog up of line scale. So that's why I picked this one up. I think I paid, mm, I think it was between 10 and 12 pounds. Um, like 11 something maybe I don't know how much this normally costs on the Nespresso websites I can't speak on the Nespresso website so I've either been um, 
I've either got it cheaper or I've been completely mugged off and paid like double the price. I find that with Amazon, like some their prices are really, really good and then some it's literally like double the price it would actually cost from the actual shop. So yeah, just be careful with that. Um, but yeah, you get, I believe you get two descaling agents in here. So yeah, we'll see if this works and hopefully the water in my machine comes out a bit faster once I've used this. I'm pretty sure you're meant to do it like every couple of months or every six months or so so yeah if I like this I'll probably this will probably be a um like a recurring thing that I'll buy so yeah that was the Nespresso descaling. I then picked up this um facial cleansing brush so it looks like this I actually picked up the blue one um let me take it out for you so yeah it looks like this and it obviously comes with the little um, USB charger and it you literally I haven't actually oh my god <laughs> I haven't actually used this yet but it is got some battery in it so hopefully you can hear that um, you just put your facial cleanser on it and clean your skin it's kind of like a dupe for the Foreo or Foreo however you pronounce it um, which I know I think are like hundreds of pounds so my skin it looks okay at the moment but um whenever there's like a dramatic season change i tend to get like a lot of spots like on my chin area and even like here i get them like where i put bronzer and stuff it could be down to makeup but i don't really change my makeup all that often um and i definitely notice it in the colder months so yeah i just wanted something that i could really get like a deep clean and a deep cleanse on my skin um so yeah, I don't know if it'll be any good, but it feels really nice. There's like a, one side this feels a, a bit firmer and this side is a little bit more soft, which is quite good. And then this, there's a little smaller section here, which is harder again. So you can kind of get right up into, um, like under your eyes and stuff as well. So I'll keep you posted on this because I don't know how good it's going to be. It was also only 11.99, which in terms of like, the Foreo, which is hundreds of pounds, um, obviously literally a fraction of the price, but yeah, we'll see um, how I get on with this one. As you saw from the box, you can also get it in pink and they also do it in like a dark charcoal gray color as well, but I quite like the blue, I thought it was cute. If you are a regular around here, you know I fake tan all the time. I currently have got fake tan on um, and it is this new one that I picked up. So this is the Bondi Sands Liquid Gold self tanning dry oil um so it looks like this it's not the biggest bottle this is 150 mils um yeah like i say i this is currently the tan that i'm wearing and i really like the color of this it's quite i don't know olivey maybe um i feel like it's not like overly orange but anyway um so i've only used this once and i did do like my whole body and we're currently down to this much product so I've got like that much left so I feel like like if they did this in a bigger bottle which I don't think they do and um, that would be ideal but anyway I have used this I really like it you, it's basically a, as it says it's a dry oil so you buff it in with a tanning mitt um, and it dries like within a few minutes I think it said it dries within 30 seconds I didn't find that to be honest I did have to um, let it soak into my skin like a little bit longer than that but a little tip um for you fake tanners out there that i do um because i hate it when a tan is sticky after i've tanned i normally just like dab my body with like some talcum powder um and that obviously just takes away the stickiness and then i feel like i can get dressed and everything for the day um so that's a little tip but yeah this one um there isn't really a color when you put it on um so you have got to be quite careful and make sure you get all the areas because you don't want a patchy tan um but you haven't got to wash it off or anything because it hasn't got that surface color um so you you can literally tan it will develop over six hours and you're like good to go and it claims that it lasts for up to a week like the tanning mousses and things like that so yeah we'll see the reason i picked this up one of my friends um recently said that she used this um and she like she had a really nice tan and it lasted quite well on her as well, which is why I thought I would try it because I'm always into trying new fake tans. Um, so yeah, I'm really pleased with this so far. Like I said, I wish they just did a bigger bottle. Um, 
this was a bargain on Amazon. I paid seven pounds, um, which for the size of the product, I think is not necessarily a bargain. However, I saw it in Superdrug and they were charging 14.99, so literally double the price. So if you use this or you're interested in using this, definitely go onto Amazon and pick this one up rather than like Superdrug or Boots or something if you're from the UK because yeah, you will definitely save money there. Okay, we are reaching the end of the video, guys. The last two products I wanted to share with you were some beauty products as well. Um, so I wanted to try this for a while. It's just the Maybelline New York, the Full Seas Lash Lift Mascara. So it's in the silver packaging with like the purple lid. I think I just picked mine up in black. Yeah, this is the color black. I haven't used this one yet. Um, Let's try and open it so I can show you the brush. Um, they also do this in like a darker, it's called like blackest black or something like that. So like even darker and potentially like a brown sort of color. But anyway, this is the kind of wand. Um, on watching YouTube and stuff myself, I've seen a lot of people talk about this mascara and kind of like rave about it. I'm currently using and the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes. I just got like a little mini of this, which I do really like, but we all know Charlotte Tilbury products are very expensive. And I also have the L'Oreal Telescopic one, which I'm not, I used to use this years ago and I recently got it again, but I don't think I'm a big fan. It makes my eyelashes so crispy. <laughs> I literally have to like pick it off um, in the evening when I take my makeup off. So I'm not the biggest fan. So I wanted to try a new one, a given new one a go. Um, so yeah, I thought I would give this one a go and I paid six pounds for this one So I think that's quite a decent price um, For a mascara and it's quite like a decent sized tube So hopefully this will last a little while as well And then that brings me on to the final thing that I picked up which was the NYX um, Suede matte lip liner um, So yeah, it's just a lip liner and this is in the shade London um, I picked this up, I'm currently wearing it now with um, a MAC lipstick, MAC Yash lipstick if you're interested. My go-to lipsticks are normally Yash or Honey Love will be the nude colours that I wear in most of my videos along with either MAC Strip Down Lip Liner or MAC Spice Lip Liner. Um, and again, I was watching a YouTube video and I saw that the NYX London Lip Liner is meant to be a dupe for Strip Down. Um, and it's obviously again a fraction of the price. This was four pounds um, compared to the MAC ones Which I want to say like 15 pounds something like that maybe Pound or two out but something around that region um, So yeah far far cheaper like I say I am wearing it today and um, Yeah, I don't think I can really tell The difference um, It's quite nice and creamy to put on which I really liked as well um, I would say the product, it's not maybe as big as the MAC one, but for £4 you can replace this like at least a few times before you're even up to the price of the MAC one, so yeah. Oh, my voice went funny then. Yeah, I'm happy with this so far. I've only used it this one time to film this video, but it seems to be doing the trick and holding up as I'm talking, so yeah, I'm happy about that. I may even pick up a few more colors because they do a whole range of colors of course as well um so yeah that was the last thing right guys thank you so much for watching today's video i really hope that you enjoyed the today's amazon haul um it is of course the end sadly um i'm gonna try and do more amazon haul videos because like i say you can get such random stuff at great prices um so yeah, I'm always on their website looking at things. Um, so yeah, let me know if you enjoyed this video by giving it a thumbs up if you did. And that will let me know to continue to make Amazon haul videos for you guys. But yeah, otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. I'd love for you to stick around. But otherwise, hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you, bye.